and I am here to show you how to make this beautiful necklace. It's using seed bead um, sequins. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to make these wonderful tassels. Um, and you can make, I actually showed you how to make these beautiful earrings using these colors and they're actually fairly easy so what I'm gonna do is and I'll leave a link of that up here for you so let's get started what you're gonna need is approximately 27 inches of beading wire um, you can use string if you like but I like the way the wire feels um, you're gonna need E6000 and you're gonna need, these are the findings, you're gonna need these end clamp beads. And this is a self uh, closing clasp. Of course, a little ring. And you're gonna need five colors that you're gonna use in your bead sequence. I recommend going from light to dark because you're gonna probably turn around and go dark to light and try to keep them in a, in a sequence that you're gonna be using. Um, you're going to need an end bead and you're going to also need um, your main color and the color I'm going to be using is this because these, this is the color that I'm using right here. I'm not going to use bugle beads for this. It's just strictly beads. So um, these are the colors so I'll be able to hang my tassel from. So let's get started. I'm going to start by putting my end clasp on and, and I'm going to put that through and I'm going to tie a knot. And I like to tie a double knot. You're going to bring this all the way up you're going to trim this excess so that the knot is inside that little bowl there I'm going to dab that with a little bit of E6000 glue. So now let's start beading. First I'm going to put an end bead. And with the beading wire you don't need a needle. So that's kind of nice. End bead and then we're going to start putting our colors on. So we'll do one of these. One of these. One of these. That's going to be our bead sequence. Now what I'm going to do is go back and put the same colors on but backwards. So I'm going to go and put another one of these. 
and then go back all the way to the lighter color and then put our end bead so that's going to be our bead sequence for this and I will do probably about 14 of these and in between this and each bead sequence I will be putting uh, mm -hmm, about 20 of these go and I'm going to repeat this all the way around till I do 14 of these and what's nice is it, it goes pretty quick so you can make a whole bunch of these all you have to do is change out this main color and you can do a whole lot in such a short time so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and let you see it in fast motion. Okay everyone, I went ahead and beat 14 of these and it's ready to be closed up and to put my tassel on. So I'm going to do what I did over here. I'm going to put my little end clap And I'm going to tie a knot. And I want to get that knot down in there. So what I'm going to do is, let me get this knot together. Is I'm going to get a needle, put it in the knot, put it where I want that, bead to, that knot to go, and I'm going to pull that knot and it'll go right in there. Pull it out, give it a little tight, and I'm going to do it again. So you make a knot, and then you're going to put a needle, and you can. I want it to go in there, so I'm going to pull on that where I want it. Give it a little tug. There it is. It's right in there. Now I'm going to trim this, trim this excess. Put a little glue in there and close it up.
put this in and I'm going to close it up. There we go. All complete. And to put the tassel on. There we go. That easy. And you can make, like I said, a whole bunch of these pretty quick as a set. Here's the set. So here's the earrings. And then you got the tassel necklace. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, please don't forget to subscribe like and share um, I'll be making lots of little things like this uh, and some advanced so um, again thank you for watching